This quick guide tutorial from ExoCAD demonstrates the new cut view feature. It provides an easy yet powerful way to use sectional views during the design. For demonstration, I have loaded a custom abutment case. To open the cut view window, click the cut view button in the main toolbar on the right. A cut view rectangle appears, which moves as the mouse cursor hovers over different objects. Click to position the rectangle. As you rotate the 3D view, the cut view will move as well, so that you look at the 2D and 3D situations from a similar angle. The triangle in the corner of the 2D and 3D images marks the orientation. Observe how the cut view automatically flips when you look at the cut view rectangle from the other side in 3D. Once the rectangle is positioned, you can move it by grabbing it at the corner. To rotate, you can use the arrow controls. or hold control and move the border. But there is also a quicker way to do it, as I will explain in the following. Inside the cut view window, you can use the standard mouse functions, zoom and unzoom with the mouse wheel. Observe how this resizes the cut view rectangle accordingly in the 3D view. Hold both mouse buttons to move the view. You can change the position of the cut view by holding the right mouse button. Move up and down to shift the positions in 3D. Move left and right with the button pressed to rotate the view around its vertical axis. This way, you can easily navigate through your restorations. To tilt the view, hold Control and move the mouse up and down. As a further alternative, for easy positioning, you can use the slider to navigate through the arch. To position the cut view over a specific object, press the third button from the left. Now, click in the center of the object you want to cut. Move the mouse until you have found your desired view. And click again to define size and orientation. To align the 3D view to your 2D view perspective, click the button with the four little arrows. To reposition the cut view the same way as you initially placed it, click the second button from the left. Click the desired position. In certain situations, for example during freeforming, it can be beneficial to permanently update the cut view position while working on the design. To lock the repositioning mode, click the same button with the right mouse key. The cut view rectangle is now entirely transparent and keeps moving with the mouse until you disable the mode again. This is a great way to see in 2D what you are freeforming in 3D.
Let's disable the mode again. You can also use the cut view for quick and easy measurements. Just click a start and end point and the software will display the length of the arrow in millimeters. If you move the view while a measurement arrow is active, the software will try to perform a similar measurement at the new cut position. When clicking near a line while defining the measurement arrow, the arrow will snap to it. If you click an empty space, the arrow will still appear, but it will be yellow, as this measurement mode is typically less useful. Let's now click the gear icon to open the options. Instead of having a pure 2D view, you can also switch to a 3D sectional view. Measurement works here as well. The auto rotation, which is enabled by default, ensures that the 2D and 3D view axes are similar. Not everyone likes the automatic rotation, so you can disable it by clicking this button. It can sometimes be confusing if the 3D view is upside down compared to the 2D view. There's another mode which does the auto rotation only in 90 degree steps so that the 2D view is stable but still oriented somewhat similarly to the 3D view. In the Options window, you can hide the grid, if it bothers you. To close the Cut View, click the Cut View button in the main toolbar again.